This is my girlfriend's current gaming setup, and today we're gonna be giving her a huge upgrade to it. Now I have my own stream room in there, but she has her gaming setup out here in the living room. And we just got her a brand new desk that is going to fit really well in that corner. So we need to flip this entire living room. just like that, the living room is officially swapped around. Now the TV, unfortunately, is covering a window, but it's totally worth it because now this whole back corner is going to be Bronte's gaming setup area, and we bought her an L desk. So on one wall will be a productivity setup with our iMac, and on the bigger wall will be her gaming setup. So let's get to work. All right, what are we working with? My desk. Well, yeah, I know that. <laughs> Instructions. We don't need those. Actually, no. No, we're, yes we do, we need those. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Bronte a white desk. Stuff. And we're thinking it's longer on one side. We'll probably do this side, the gaming setup, have the backdrop there. What's this? <laughs> Shorter side on here. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh God. What? There's a lot of parts. First piece. <laughs> What? You almost smacked me in the face. <laughs> For the last handful of years, we've just used cheap IKEA desks, which are actually just tabletops, and you screw legs on. That's all we've done. So we haven't built a desk in a hot minute. I know I should probably be building this on the ground, like doing this upside down. It would be so much easier, but I don't know how well you guys would be able to see. Because unfortunately, our living room, well, most of our apartment, honestly, is like beige, beige carpets, beige walls. It's the dumbest color. I hate it with a passion, but our landlord won't let us paint. And honestly, it would be a huge pain to paint in here, but it is what it is. Honestly, I rarely ever recommend people get these like pre-made desks. It's usually so much cheaper just to go to an Ikea. But unfortunately, we don't have an Ikea near us at all. So shipping an Ikea is like the most expensive, absurd thing of all time. It actually is more expensive than the desk itself. It, it's terrible. So. For Prime Day, we got a really good deal on this L desk. So if we're building this upside down, is that the long one? Yeah. And we want the long one on this wall, ultimately. We build so it backwards. It's backwards, so I think this goes here, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> this is making sense. No, no, totally. The holes are, they are good. So then this will go it's gonna be in the back corner like that, yeah. Or rotate, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Now we are going to put a shelf up here and probably no shelf here, but from us taking off that shelf that was originally here, we have some holes and uh, I don't have the stuff to fill them right now. So those are just gonna stay there. Show them the ones behind that. So remember, this was originally Bronte's desk setup and she had that shelf above, which we put this little shelf thingy there. But yeah, it is uh, it's a little rough back there. So that's what these little things are for to cover up all the holes. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if we built it correctly. <laughs> we should have, I think. Let's go. We got a white desk. All right, desk is built. And now we need to put up a shelf. <laughs> so official. <laughs> Something like this. Now I never know how high to put up a shelf. I kind of guessed in my own stream room. We're probably gonna do the same here. Okay, we mounted Bronte's monitor just to kind of see how high up we want it. And I think we're okay with that. But the problem we're having is, do we center the shelf on this wall or do we center it over the monitor, which... Mm. Nah, I think centered on the wall is better. I'm more of like doing it centered over this, but it's Bronte's setup, so we'll go in the middle. Uh -huh. You do it. There we go. Nice. Well. I like it. And finally, we get to start doing some fun stuff. RGB lighting. So this is a Govi RGB light strip. I've been using Govi products for years. They make the best RGB products, honestly. And we're just gonna line the entire back of this desk. And luckily, these do have little slits that you can use to cut. So this ends up being the perfect length. I actually kinda like this corner piece, I'm not gonna lie, which 
Honestly, you know what would be really cool? Okay, so Bronte's PC is gonna end up being right here, but maybe putting a floodlight in the corner, shining up. Yeah. Be kinda sick. We'll see, we'll see. One thing I realized I completely forgot about was dealing with her cable management situation. Because in my own gaming setup, I have a basket that I mounted to the underside of the desk that just like shove all of my cables in there and power strips. It's, it's super easy to deal with and it looks clean enough, but I forgot to order Bronte one of those. And she was using this box in her last setup that we just kind of shoved everything in there and maybe we'll shove it there for now, but it'll have to work. What do you think, Bronte? I'm obsessed. Okay, but for real though, what's your favorite part? I don't, I don't even know. Like, first of all, the living room, I'm shocked by. Okay, yeah, I don't know if I really showed this off too much. Yeah, our living room, now that we completely flipped it and the TV and the entertainment stuff is over there. I thought it was gonna be so awkward. Yeah, her setup fits perfectly in this corner and it's right next to my own gaming setup. So our two gaming setups are kind of like on this side of the apartment, Yeah. living over there. It's I'm, great. I'm really happy that we did the shelf in the center. Yeah, I think it you worked. were right. I was wrong. <laughs> it works with the PC like being like it kind of Yes, it does. You know, groups it together. Yeah. I love that I have like a bigger desk. I have a separate space for like my day job. So I don't have to do it on the same thing. It just, I love This it. is really clutch. For those of you who haven't seen it way long ago and like, I think it was 2020, we got this brand new iMac, which is an absolute beast of a computer for editing on, but obviously, Windows for gaming. Speaking of Windows PC, this is Bronte's gaming computer that we built, I don't know, a few months back. And it used to be my old black one, but we completely did a remodel of it and turned it into a white one. It was a really, really cool video. I'll link that down in the description as well so you can check out the full build of this computer. Overall, I think this gaming setup turned out really, really good. This is way so better happy. than I thought it was going to, to be honest. That said, I'm sure some of you probably noticed that there wasn't any streaming stuff. And that's because that video is gonna be coming out later this year. So if you haven't already, be sure you are subscribed so you can stay tuned for that video when we give her set up another revamp for streaming. But that is gonna do it. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.